the intolerance of tolerance. And it's important to understand that the notion of tolerance then within this framework has itself a certain intellectual heritage that has been transmuted by postmodernism. Under the modernist paradigm, tolerance looks something like this. I may disagree with you, but I insist on your right to articulate your opinion, however stupid and ignorant I think it is. That's tolerance. In other words, this means that there is tolerance for the individual to say things with which I disagree. The tolerance is directed toward individuals. But there is robust debate at the level of content and substance. So I may disagree profoundly with Marxist historiography, but if I'm a tolerant person under a modernist regime, I insist on the right of Marxist historiographers to articulate their views. But likewise, under the Western vision of, of tolerance, under, under a modernist camp, then I insist on the right of capitalists to articulate their views, or theists to articulate their views, or, or whatever. However right or wrong I think they are. So that unless there is something deeply, deeply damaging to a, a, a public well-being, as, for example, somebody coming along and um, advocating vociferously pedophilia, then the notion of tolerance allows you to defend almost anybody teaching almost anything. Because, you see, under the modernist paradigm, the assumption is that in the marketplace of disputed ideas, the truth will come out. There is a truth to be searched out. There is a truth to be pursued. Truth, ultimately, is desirable and attainable. So, in other words, this view of tolerance is itself tied to a certain kind of vision of truth, a certain kind of epistemology. But once you change the epistemology and lose that vision of truth, tolerance itself is redefined. Now tolerance means that you must not say that anybody is wrong. That's the one wrong thing to say. But now notice, under this view of tolerance, you are tolerant not of individuals, you are tolerant of all positions. The tolerance is now directed toward all views that are articulated because you are not in a position to say that any view is wrong. The one thing that is not tolerated is the view that this view of tolerance is wrong. And thus you have the intolerance of tolerance. Worse, if somebody comes along and says this view of tolerance is wrong, under this view of tolerance, that view, that person is not tolerant and therefore should not be tolerated. That person is a bigot. And because there is no understanding of tolerance directed toward the individual, but only towards all views, except that view which says that this view of tolerance is wrong, therefore the university campus can become a very scary place toward anybody who says that there may be an absolute right and wrong after all, or an absolute truth. I would argue that this new view of tolerance is, in fact, logically incoherent. I don't simply mean that it is inconsistent, that is, it, it proves intolerant. I don't mean that. It isn't consistent, but I mean something worse than that. I think that it is incoherent. Because the very notion of tolerance, under whatever regime, presupposes that you have to disagree with someone or something before you tolerate it. You see, if I say, on my university campus, I will tolerate those who propagate uh, Islam, or Marxism, or whatever, it doesn't matter, I have to disagree with it before I can use the word tolerate. If I say, well, you know, you're no more right nor wrong than I am. I may agree with you. I tolerate you. 
It's incoherent. That doesn't even make sense. To be able to tolerate something, you've got to disagree with it in the first place. But if, in fact, you are not in a position to say that any position is wrong, how can you speak of tolerating it? Thus, I would argue that the new definition of tolerance is not only inconsistent, it's incoherent and proves, in fact, to be less tolerant than the brand of tolerance that was around under modernism. Because at the very point where it comes up with that which disagrees with it the most, it has to dismiss all opponents as intolerant and bigoted and therefore becomes, in fact, totalitarian.